With Osu Laser finally adding the most important feature in the game, local offset, Pepe made this poll on Twitter basically quizzing the community on whether or not they know how it actually works. And if we scroll down to the replies, we can see that nobody actually knows what it's supposed to be. We even got an LMAO from Pepe himself. This seems to be a topic that a lot of people get confused about, so I figured I'd make a video just specifically about this. The short answer is that if you're hitting early, you want negative local offset, and if you're hitting late, you want positive local offset. Someone replied to the tweet with this image, which makes intuitive sense based on how the slider is positioned. It would make sense that if you drag this slider to the left, then your average hit timing would also move to the left, but this is actually not what beatmap offset does. In fact, it's the opposite. And in case you're still confused, beatmap offset and local offset are the same exact thing. It's just called something else in laser, which in case in case you're wondering, oh, why do they change the term in laser? Honestly, I think beatmap offset is a more intuitive name for it. And if you think local offset is more intuitive as a term, it's just because that's what you're used to. So Fiery replied to the main tweet explaining it in a bit more detail. If you don't know who Fiery is, he's a long-standing top player from the United States, and he's been playing in the World Cup for God knows how long. I think he's considered a fossil at this point. And he's also a beatmap nominator who does a lot of timing checks for really weirdly timed maps that basically don't have correct timing. He's super sensitive to offset, so he's pretty much the offset guru in this game. So how local offset really works is that it adds or subtracts to the map's actual offset number which you can find in the editor and that number is basically how many milliseconds into the mp3 did the first beat happen so if you go to a map in the editor and it says it has 100 offset that means the first beat happened 100 milliseconds into the mp3 and putting a positive local offset would add to that number and vice versa but anyway that's a much more intricate way of understanding local offset all you really need to know is if you're hitting early press minus if you're hitting late press plus and if this slider is going to be the new way to change offset in laser, then it's basically the same idea. Someone in the replies mentioned why not just label this slider at that point, and it seems like that's actually what's planned to happen. But because it's such a common misconception, and obviously laser isn't the client that everyone's using yet, I figured this information would still be helpful to know. I'll link this main tweet in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself, but yeah, that's about it.